morning YouTube, welcome to the Reptile Barn. I'm excited for today's video. We're just gonna do an update, kind of a the state of the Reptile Barn, how, how we're looking. So it is the very end of July, beginning of August, and uh, we have had six or seven clutches hatch out so far. Many of those have already sold. Uh, it's going very well. I'll show you some of those that are still here. Um, starting to put together in my mind as I see which females are going to be up to size, uh, what our breedings are going to be for this coming winter. Obviously, we're a ways off from that still, but i got to start kind of thinking of what males to put to what females. And it's also just fun. Um, the Dominican Red Mountain Boas, um, for those of you uh, who haven't seen them before, this is uh, Chylobothrus striatus. It's a species of really pretty small uh, semi-arboreal boa from the Dominican Republic and Haiti. They're gorgeous, and I think that they'll be ready to go for breeding season. As far as I can tell, they are, they are ready. According to um, some of the top experts on this species, uh, like Paul Bodnar, for example, he's one that I've asked questions to before. He's on the, the Facebook group for the species. Uh, he pretty much told me once the female's about the a, a, as big around as a thick sausage, a salami or something, um, you're good to go. So that's what we're hoping for them. We just have the one pair, so they either go or they don't. Um, the blue tree monitor is doing fantastic. Completely switched over to dubia roaches. The dubia colony is going amazingly, breeding like crazy, growing quickly, super healthy. Um, we even got some crickets that are starting to put on a little size. We really struggled more with the crickets than with the roaches. But anyways, I just want to show you some snakes today. Uh, give you a good update on how things are looking. So first I'll start with some of the babies. Um, turn this camera around for you. So, up here, the first four and then the first one here. Um, those are two double het ultramel pides. Those are males, and then three female double het ultramel pides, 100% het. Uh, we are raising those up. Those are keepers. They're extremely snappy little babies, all of them, uh, but that's okay. Uh, they're beautiful, growing great. And then that's the only holdbacks that we're that we've got on this rack. Everything else on here is for sale. So we've got a couple that have already sold. Um, our last two banana green pastels have sold, but uh, we're waiting to ship them out or, or deliver them, depending on if it's local or out of state. Beautiful snakes. Uh, we do have one banana left, just a pure banana. Here he is, it's a little male. Our banana is a male maker, so almost every single banana we ever get is going to be male. That's okay. I like males just as much, um, and they're a little bit more affordable for people as well. We've got um, our first clutch of Mojaves and Mystics is just about ready to list for sale. Here's a little Mojave, beautiful. Oh, look at those sides. I know the lighting's terrible, but look at that. Look at the color. Oh, I love these. Again, I I've gotten more and more um, into some of the morphs that aren't, you know, just overwhelmingly different. Obviously, banana, uh, albinos, pides are just shockingly different from normal, but some of the more subtle morphs I've really started to like. Um, here is a little mystic. Really nice looking snake. Hey, buddy. These are all chow and food, so one more meal in them probably and I'll list them for sale. Um, more of the same. We got some Het Ultramels down here. And then here, oh, I felt somebody strike, I think. Here, we have a clutch that just hatched out, very excited about. This was a Mystic Potion to a Mojave female. So we have Mystic Potions, we have Super Mojaves, we have Mojaves, and we have Mystics in here. Um, Ten babies total. Beautiful, beautiful clutch. They're all in deep blue right now, so they don't look like much, but uh, give them two, three more days, and this clutch is going to be just, oh, so beautiful. And we'll get them eating, and probably in three weeks or so, we'll have them for sale as well. 
the last one that I'm really excited to show you feels like a great success to me, <laughs> even though it's not, you know, genetically the most incredible clutch ever. But uh, this was our Mystic Potion male to a normal female. So everything in here is either a Mystic or a Mojave. And the cool thing about this clutch of six perfect babies is that if those of you who were watching a while back, about two months ago, uh, recall that we had a female that had some trouble laying. Uh, she was a little bit egg bound. Um, we took her to the vet and instead of, you know, drastic measures, instead of a surgery or uh, aspirating the eggs or anything like that, he thought that since she'd already passed one and he did an x-ray and saw that there was no, you know, major blockages or any badly deformed egg that might be um, causing a problem and the, the ovary wasn't twisted, or the, the canal there, I don't know the right word, I'm sorry, wasn't twisted. Um, so he said, you know, let's just try giving her a hormone that'll kind of boost her contraction strength a little bit. She might just not be contracting strongly to get the rest of these eggs out. And it hadn't been, she, she hadn't been egg bound for very long. She passed one egg and like a day and a half had gone by and I was getting concerned because uh, that's not normal for those of you out there breeding. When they pass one egg, generally they're going to keep having them then until they're done within a day or so. And she'd gone, you know, almost 48 hours. So anyway, gave her that, that injection and that night she laid all her eggs. Now I had heard from a lot of people that the actual clutch of eggs from an egg bound female even if there's a, a um, embryo in the egg, you just don't get them to hatch. That's what I had heard. I didn't see why, but uh, that's what I had heard. But we, got, we went ahead and set them up anyways, assuming that they're all going to die. And they didn't. This clutch that I just showed you is that clutch. Six eggs, six babies. They, they're actually big, chunky, fat babies. They look beautiful. Um, so I am very excited about that. Uh, that the eggs are okay. We kept the female, um, and uh, my theory was that her muscle tone was very low. She just uh, she never strikes and coils her food. Um, obviously, they're not in the wild, so they're not getting exercise, running around looking for food, or or ambushing or anything. So if she's not even getting any you know exercise for her muscles during eating. I just thought maybe maybe she's just not very strong and, and they need some strength to, to have those better contractions. I don't know. That was my thought. Now, after she laid and started eating again, for the first time ever, she is striking and coiling her food aggressively. She's, she's eating extremely well. Very happy with that. So I'm very curious. We are going to go ahead and breed her again. And next time she lays eggs, I'm curious to see if she passes them all without any any problems so that is the hope is that she'll have been you know strengthened up a little bit and that she won't have any more problems laying uh, that is uh, my idea and we will see if I have any you know basis <laughs> in truth or not but uh, yeah so I was very excited about that clutch as far as uh, our you know our plans for this next season it's a little early to get into all of that I will do that definitely still have three clutches in the incubator, one or two more females left to drop eggs. So it's been a great summer so far here at the Reptile Barn. It's been awesome. Um, thank you to all you guys who've been watching and commenting. Uh, it means a ton to us. Uh, we didn't know what to expect getting into YouTube. I've never been much into social media. So we've been trying this out and it's been awesome. So we're going to keep it going. Thank you all so much. We try to especially those of you who also put up videos. We try and watch your videos as much as we possibly can. Um, my wife does a really good job of that. I, I try to uh, or as well. But uh, yeah, so we are going to keep carrying on. We have uh, several things in the works. We've got some new animals coming in. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what the first one coming is because it's going to be here in like a month and I've been teasing it constantly. So we are getting dun 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 a pair of eastern indigo snakes. So that is uh Drymarcon cooperi. 
Uh, they are a large colubrid, for those of you who don't know, from the Florida area. Um, threatened species, so that's why we had to get um, a permit, a federal permit for them. Very excited. I, I learned a lot about these when I was in college, actually, um, doing wildlife conservation, and just fell in love with them. So we're going to get a pair of them. We've got our permit now, so uh, we're just getting ready to send payments, and uh, the breeder has been spectacular. I don't know, I haven't asked him yet if he wants me to use his name or not, so I'm not going to yet, but I might in the future because, man, this guy has been absolutely phenomenal to work with. Incredibly knowledgeable, incredibly helpful. Walked us through the permit process every step of the way. He has been amazing. So uh, if, if he is okay with it, I'll definitely give him a shout-out later. He's been just spectacular. Beautiful snakes. Um, we'll have them here hopefully in about a month. And uh, then maybe a month or two after that, the other species that I am going to keep a surprise is kind of Caleb's baby, my brother. For those Again, for those of you who are just starting to watch, my brother Caleb is on the vlog occasionally. And he uh, has been working with a breeder to bring in another species as well. And we're extremely excited about that. So yeah, that's where we are with our business, with our hobby. Our family's doing great. I don't know if uh, any of you have noticed. I don't know how long it's been since my wife's been in a vlog. She's about eight weeks or eight months pregnant, actually, so we're expecting a new addition to our crew here at the Reptile Barn. Life has been great to us. We're just uh, chugging along, growing our business, and uh, I'm so grateful to all of you for watching. Um, that is our update. We'll hopefully have some more uh, kind of different things coming up. We have some other uh, projects in the works, so please continue to watch and comment if you'd like to and until next time we're the reptile barn